Hello everyone, new video and I continue to work on building my second RV-10 airplane. Well, as you remember in the previous episode, I was working on the tail cone, which I'm gonna continue to work on in this episode. And hopefully I'm gonna rivet it and assemble it. Well, I had some short vacation. I, was, I had some plans to visit uh, California, to visit some other places, to meet some people. Unfortunately, not all of my plans um, uh, became uh, reality, became true due to some family reasons, so we had to return earlier. And yeah, I uh, I wish I could meet with a Mark in uh, Los Angeles to fly with him, but unfortunately I was not able. I was supposed to meet with two other friends and again, well, that's life, right? Anyway, so I'm continuing to work and in this video I will also I also plan to include something about my avionics, some news about my avionics because I implemented some cool features in my FSS as well as uh, some probably test flying because weather is getting a little bit better. Yesterday I had a chance to fly my airplane here in the area to test it. Today it's rainy again, but hopefully next week I'll fly it again. Well, for now, let's start to work, less talking, more working. Let's go! So my RV-10 getting its color, finally. Uh, what I choose is something not really standard. I mean, standard is painting, right? I choose vinyl wrap. So basically it's a vinyl, same what is used for vehicles, high quality vinyl, which I'm just putting over my airplane, over the, over the seats. Uh, this has been uh, this uh, has been done many many times, and I saw many airplanes with fully vinyl wrapped here at our, at my field. I saw many pictures of those, so I decided to try. Well, uh, probably the advantages are it's way much less expensive. It way much less weight. So we're talking about maybe 30-40% of the uh, paint weight. It's easy to remove. You can just remove it and paint it after. And you can remove it and put another color. So I'm doing that with help of someone else, like the guys who are professionals and know how to do that. So far it goes. Of course, I'll show you the end result. For now, it's just partially done. Uh, more to do, but just that's a progress for now. And so, as you can see, my airplane getting, is getting its colors. Well, uh, so far it's not yet fully ready. 
lots of things to add, more livery to add, more colors, more, thi more things, but it's already, uh, well, what, about a week into this job? It, 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 it's going slow with the help of someone who knows how to do this job. And I still have to do the calling, but so far that's gonna be the primary color gonna be bluish and we're gonna have some black and silver, silver uh, livery lining on it. Yeah, so, well, it's coming out slowly, slowly. And uh, another good news is that I got my certificate of airworthiness, finally. So basically I'm now not limited. Well, it's not true, I'm, li I'm still limited. First of all, it's still VFR, not IFR yet. I haven't applied for the IFR and I'm for now limited to day VFR only which is uh, okay but I'm already working on removing that day VFR part because technically this airplane is fully equipped for night flying so day and night flying should be no issues as well as for myself I'm, I'm well overrated for that yeah so that's how it's going and I'll definitely show you the final result as soon as this is done Don't worry, bank. It's, it's gonna bank. Okay. Protection is uh, protection is disabled. So you do now 45, and you do quite stable at 45 right yeah. now. Yeah. I'll make a nice picture of 45. Oops. Nice. All right. Now to the other side. Uh huh. X-ray, Foxtrot, Delta, departing. All right. No one around line. us. Nope. Он к заливу, сделаем круг и полетим домой. Да, это будет совсем чуть-чуть вообще. О, а ты хочешь побольше? Да, я люблю летать. Ну, сейчас, может быть, там мы небольшой кружочек еще сделаем в ту сторону. Сейчас посмотрим, может. Да, я выровняюсь сначала. Давай посмотрим, если у нас все сконфигурировано, температуры, все хорошо, двигатель работает нормально. Все четко выполняется здесь, здесь скорость нормальная. И вот, вот таким вот уголком мы должны медленно туда подлететь. Так. Не бойся, да. А какой склок, а какой код у Абатсфорда? А, и а, Абатсфорд, Сивай. Сивай. Сивай что-то. Сивай что-то W. Я забыл, Маша, извини. <laughs> Я забыл, правда. Потому что у моей подружки. Сивай YX. Сивай YX. Да. Ага.
traffic on Tango Golf. AT downwind 25, let me go. So my tail cone is coming together and this is basically the last part in this kit. So yeah, it's almost riveted, like I would say it's 80% uh, riveted already. I just have to do some little more riveting inside. Uh, on the sides just about a dozen of rivets to put and after I'll put it into storage and we'll be waiting for my next kits. I got updated by Vance Aircraft that my kits will be coming in the schedule from August to December. So if everything goes okay, I should be getting all my kits, so wings, fuselage and finish kit, before the end of December, like one by one, which is great, which is good. I just have to figure out how to store everything here, because obviously once I get more than wings kit I have to store it somewhere so I have to actually unpack it I have to fully inspect it and after that I have to pack it package it again and put it some for some storage so that may be a little bit difficult considering the size of the hangar and the fact that I have another airplane sitting here but the good thing is that the kits are will be coming August September October November December and um, like November to March not much flying here because of the weather so I will have a good amount of time to work so stay tuned and the second airplane slowly coming along well so far so good I'm keep flying my beautiful RV-10 and I love how it flies like really I really love how this airplane flies super stable and uh, well I have to be honest nothing to compare with I mean, I, I would probably try to compare it with Diamond D40 somehow, but those are two different airplanes. This is a fast and stable and nice airplane. And yeah, as you can see, as I told you, I went all wrap the airplane, so it looks so far so good. I put about maybe 10 hours in it after um, making my vinyl wrap. I must say that it's good. It, it holds. It stays there some little places somewhere little little but in overall it's great we're facing the warm weather here in Canada finally yes in Canada sometimes it's warm for those of you who, who may be in doubt and um, my oil temperature now is about 200 it used to be remember I was telling about 170 180 so now it's about 200 but I'm happy about that. I mean, it's still good. Uh, we're talking about 200 Fahrenheit and the temperature is about, is about ambient, um, 80, 80 Fahrenheit maybe, something like that in US. And another good news is that US Custom and Border Protection sent me finally my sticker. So I have sticker and now I can legally cross into US on my airplane. Well, which is great, I just received it in the mail. But that's not all. I would like to shout out to Chris Cottrell. Chris, thank you very much. Vance Finder's fee, which you filled with my builder number, just reached me and I just got $100. Thank you very much. Again, it's to Chris Cottrell. And I'll definitely use those money against my uh, Afghas and likely I will fly to US, probably Seattle or Portland or even further somewhere, we will see. But thank you very much, appreciate that. And yeah, I will, um, actually not I will, but I have to wrap already this video because it took already too long for me, right, uh, since my last video. But believe it or not, I was really busy, I was flying, 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 but now it's a good moment to actually wrap this video and just put it on YouTube and start to record the next video. My tail cone riveting is 90% done. Yeah, about that. So I'm done almost with tail cone. My wings kit will arrive only in September. Hopeful events, I hope. They keep the promise wherever it's listed in my, uh, on that website, kit order status, order status, hopefully. So yeah, so I have all summer without riveting 
So I'm kind of repeat offender, but um, for summer I'm gonna put more time in avionics. I have lots of things happening in avionics. I just need to find time and make a nice video about my avionics, and likely I will record it with my GoPro camera, because recording it with my Canon, for some reason it cannot really focus that close, probably because of my lens. So yeah, I will uh, record it on GoPro. I want really to share with you my my progress on avionics because I did a big progress and every flight I do on this RV10 I always uh, well not not always finding some bugs but I'm adding some functionality like adding here and there oh and another important moment I just got my VFR day and night um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before but Transport Canada issued to me the uh, certificate of airworthiness to fly out of the 25 nautical miles zone so my test period completed but it was day only so I had to go through the process and get it up uh, I did applicate I mean I applied I requested to remove that day only and give me a VFR night that was requiring obviously additional instrumentation additional requirements to airplane which I uh, which I uh, fulfilled it so provided by providing to inspector all the information I got my day and night VFR so now I can fly well 24 hours all right i see you in the next video thank you for watching and keep flying bye